DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, walking home from work. Those of you who've seen my last week's vlog, I was walking along here and there's no fog tonight. And it's just kind of funny because the view is completely different. Because with the fog, the way it was last week, you could see, really in a, in a way, despite the fog, the outline of the valleys, which you can't really see now because the fog is not there to help you delimit it. So what are we gonna talk about tonight? Well, yesterday was uh, a day off. It was one of these Catholic holidays and the canton that I live in here is Catholic. So we actually had a day off, went out with Mrs. DC. She had a day off as well went geocaching. But our geocaching was a series of six or seven uh, caches in the woods. So we just basically had a really nice stroll and did the geocaching and discovered some really nice places. Yeah, what's going on today and this days, I should say today in a generic sense, with all the the terrorist acts and the denial of certain government people of what is actually going on. It's pretty scary. And it's scary in a way because I sometimes wonder if you don't have an anchor uh, holding you in place not really, but stating where you shouldn't go, in a way. Uh, do you need that anchor? Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, I gotta be careful the way, again, that I say this, because a lot of these laws can be seen sometimes as politically incorrect. I don't mean an anchor in the way of uh, do's and don'ts. I mean an anchor that solidly tells you what is your worth. Uh, maybe the anchor is not the real word for it. But something, you know, that a doctrine in a way that really puts you where you should be. I guess that's where the anchor analogy comes into my mind. Now, there's a lot of problems in the world today is like postmodernism is I'm good, you're good, we're all good. And sometimes I wonder if it shouldn't be I'm bad, you're bad, we're all bad. And you see, now this is where I get into the, the deep waters is that if you look at Christian faith as I see it, that's probably it. I'm bad, you're bad, we're all bad. And we have, I was gonna say an anchor. Now I don't wanna go into preaching, but that is actually the way that I am seeing my life. Uh, I'm very open-minded and yet there's the anchor. It is clearly there what is the basis of what I believe. Now, the thing that I like about my beliefs and the way that I, uh, in, it's not even a question of interpreted, I try to live them, is that I don't have to prove in any way that I'm good. I know I'm not. I can just turn around and say thank you. Thank you because I know that I'm accepted the way I am. Okay, now, moving on from that, I guess is the question is that how do you look at the world? I think if you look at the world in the aspect is that we're not actually all good people, but we're all people that can strive 
and many of us do strive and then and having said that you don't have to be a Christian believer to strive towards good but it could be that the relativity of what is good and bad is different depending on what your belief system is am I getting in the deep and murky waters you bet I am because that is where probably the main difference is with certain religions where and you know something I actually put atheism even though people cry and say that is not a religion but it's nevertheless a type of belief system whatever you want to say about it and that stakes where your anchor lies now do I want to talk about atheism today no I don't do I want to talk about certain religions which would call themselves religions of peace there's quite a few actually there's not only one but uh, no not really what I basically want to say is that I think if we start if we each start looking to ourselves it's where where is that anchor that is basically defining the scope of our I was going to say of our values can you evolve Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I can see that it seems that my anchor didn't have much chain attached to it at one time. In other words, I was like gyrating very close to it. If you have, I would say, a very solid anchor, you can have a lot of chain. And you can gyrate quite a ways around. You know, there's... Uh, there's my, I was going to say my radio mentor, uh, Steve Brown, basically has uh, one saying, let me see, I'll try and get it right, is that when he wishes us at the end of a week, uh, one of his weekday shows, uh, weekend shows, basically is telling us to not be, I'm paraphrasing, but to not be worse than he is, and that gives us a wide, wide berth. And I think that's actually what what it means you've got that anchor and you've got a large chain because you know that you can go back to the anchor okay what was I starting to talk about from the beginning of this vlog and I went on some side road as I usually do I think the whole idea is that right now we're going without an anchor it seems in the world without a rudder nothing is there without paddles it just seems right now that we're out of control and well first thing I would say stop and take stock and that is really a difficult thing because it doesn't matter which side of the social political divide you're on everybody needs to take stock because like I say in my view we're all actually straying on the wrong way right now. So, am I giving a, a solution to all this? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. I would say find your anchor and get a long enough chain. Okay. <laughs> DC signing off. As usual, a vlog that I hope will have some people thinking and those who don't want to think about it you know you should have turned off a long time ago and gone and taken a, a coffee or a beer or whatever okay so DC signing off take care everybody that is going to be my evening vlog bye bye